Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial in which I'm going to show you this brand new abstract app and abstract technology uh, which lets you designer manage all your design assets and files like uh, github for front-end developers so basically you have a version control over your sketch files and uh, you can uh, work with your team uh, where many people can simultaneously edit one document and nothing gets you know messed up so it's like life-changing okay technology so uh, for now unfortunately it works only on mac os and it works only with sketch but abstract founders claim that it will soon be um, working with some other file types and i believe that uh, this is adobe technology okay so let's find out what's uh, abstract all about now you can sign up for your free account and uh, if it's for personal use you want to keep track of all your files it's free you have 10 gigabytes of storage and if you want some team cooperation features you need to upgrade for uh, pro plan okay so i downloaded the app and uh, now we create a new project so project is the most important part of your design workflow so uh, all the apps uh, uh, or websites that you create for your clients will probably have a different project so you can give it a name and you can uh, provide a short description as well as uh, you can set the color and then you simply create this project so i've already done some work in sketch and i've got this shopaholic sketch file that I can import into this project or I can just start with a blank sketch file but I select uh, this file and I can just drag and drop it to my new project now this uh, new project and new sketch files will be my first master commit and I'll show you that in uh, just a second and what's the most important thing now is uh, that from now on you don't work in finder you work mm, just in abstract application so all the things that uh, are connected to changing the names, uh, moving files, editing files, all those operations you do inside abstract app. So I have this one file here, it's shop, uh, shopaholic.sketch, and uh, I have all the pages from uh, my uh, sketch file. So I have symbols page where um, I can um, see all the, my, all the symbols, and I have this UI kit page with all my artboards. I can create new sketch file, I can import sketch files uh, to this project as well. And what's essential here is that I'm in this Shopaholic project, but I'm in its master section. And the master section is the most important because it's maybe not the most recent, but it's the production version of your design. So it means that all the changes that are accepted with your client or the project owner goes to master and master is only one. So all the other stuff, all the work in progress stuff, you keep in branches. You can create many branches, you can uh, comment on branches, and when something is ready to deploy to production version, you merge this branch into the master which is only one true uh, the source of truth as they say so you can create a new branch from here but um, oftentimes you go to the master and then you edit the file so ed you edit the file in sketch and when you go to this um, pop-up window you can open it uh, without tracking changes in abstract but usually you you will just create a new branch for uh, tracking changes in this project so usually you you select this uh, blue button and when you create a branch you can uh, give it a name and for example when we change something to the buttons we can uh, have a name buttons change okay uh, the description is optional and now the branch is being created and also is opening this uh, shopaholic.sketch file so it's very important that you remember not to open the sketch files directly from finder you just open the uh, sketch files from abstract now let's go to the symbols page and let's make some adjustments to the button let's change the fill color to yellow and maybe uh, also change the text colors to some darker color so you basically work in sketch as usual and you can see on the bottom that you have this shopaholic project and you work in the buttons change branch exactly so you can command s in sketch and it saves the uh, file in sketch and also it saves it to the abstract so that you can uh, see the version history of this file and you can work on some adjustments and press command s again to save the file save it to uh, abstract and 
when this design is this part of design uh, is ready and you want to update this buttons change branch you go directly to uh, the preview and commit button on the bottom and you select preview and commit and this is like a bigger save okay <laughs> you you want to have a description for this save and uh, while committing I uh, say that I changed the color to yellow uh, I have one symbol that's changed, but also this symbol was used on four artboards. So uh, I have four artboards in total uh, changed as well. And as you see on the right, I can uh, commit those changes to the button change branch, but I can also create a new branch or sub branch. I select commit changes, and now I'm inside this button change branch. It has no status, but I can set it later. And as you see in my project, I have this master in which uh, the buttons and symbols are still blue. And that's because my changes are not yet merged into master branch. So that's fine. I'm working on this buttons change branch right now. And I can change the status of this branch to maybe, I don't know, um, open for feedback, right? So now all the stakeholders and my colleagues and project owners, they can see that it's open for feedback and they can use this conversation window to write a comment. So they can say, just make the logo bigger, okay? <laughs> so, or maybe try a uh, red color for the button. And if they want uh, me to try the red color, I can go back to files and I can do new branch, but I can also go to edit in sketch in this existing branch and in this uh, buttons change branch and it's open in Sketch now. I can change the color to red as, as desired. And I can change the text to white as well. Now we are saving the changes. And uh, after they are saved, we are committing the changes. And let's uh, have a red color for a name of this commit. And now we have two commits in this one branch. We can uh, go to, we, can, we have this uh, red color here. And in the second commit, we have yellow color. So we can switch between the commits in the commit section. So now you have in one branch, buttons change, you have this two commits and uh, your client can, can go to commits and can easily compare those versions. Then he can go to conversation and say, well, you know what? I know I requested red, red is fine, but yeah, I think yellow just works better, but I had to see red, okay? <laughs> so uh, you go back to the commits and this is very important. You have to go to yellow and to this little button, restore commit, because uh, what you merge to your master branch is always on top here. So it has to be yellow color on the top of the commits. So you need to restore it. And afterwards, you can finally say, I don't know, ready for review. And your client can say, yeah, I told you <laughs> yellow <laughs> from the beginning. OK, <laughs> so uh, now you can go back to the commits. You can you can go back to this branch, basically buttons change. And while those uh, changes are accepted and revised, you can uh, select merge branch button. And when you do it, you can merge this uh, buttons change branch into your master. So you set the node yellow color for buttons and you merge and archive and just launch it into space. OK, <laughs> now we are in master. And as you can see, the buttons are yellow. When I go back to my project, there is no branch in active um, um, tab, but you can go to this archive tab and you can see this button change is merge. And in the commits, you can go back uh, and forth through these changes. You have yellow buttons and blue buttons. OK, so let's go back to uh, our project and um, you can create many sub branches as well. So you can select the new branch and create maybe one branch for the buttons. And then in this branch inside, I create another branch will be, I don't know, maybe button colors. OK, if you want to discuss that. So now we have a sub branch with the colors in our buttons branch. So we can comment this separately and you can even do something like, I don't know, maybe some other branch, maybe shape branch. And now I have shape and colors dis discussions uh, in, in this button branch. So you can create many nested uh, branches and sub branches and you can edit those branches. You can um, select new branch from there. You can copy the link to branch. If you have a team account, you can export files from one branch and also you can export files from uh, the master project. You can also archive the branch or delete it. OK, so those are the branch options. You can see your branches, active branches and also archived branches. 
and on the right side you have comments uh, most recent comments you can access the comment and you can immediately see that this is in buttons change branch and as you see this is merged so probably not that all important because it was already uh, merged with the master so it, it went to our main design file so uh, you can go back to the project and as you see we are up to date and what's important in abstract you can also work offline so if you have no connection uh, you can still create branches you can still update your projects uh, create commits and when you go online all the things just go you know public just go to your team and uh, gets updated and when you click on your avatar, you go to the projects and you can uh, edit this project. You can edit project, you can uh, copy the link to project, you can delete it. And you can also manage invites and uh, access for uh, some other people to this project. When you select manage people, uh, you can manage and you can invite some new people to work with you on this project. There is a guest viewer. And this account is for clients, uh, project owners who can uh, review the work, they can leave the comments, they can uh, even download the files and um, uh, open them untracked. And also you have this guest contributor here as well. And those guest contributors can also uh, create new branches, can edit the files, can merge uh, the branches into master. And we are in this private section of my account. When you access this um, uh, bar, you can see that uh, you can access your personal projects and you can also go for some uh, team projects. And you can create new organizations here. You have to upgrade to Pro, but uh, you can have many organizations here, but you stick with uh, your personal account as your main account. And then you just add some um, team accounts uh, just like it works in Slack. So if you used Slack before, it's very similar. So you can go to manage people and you can invite some uh, people to work with your project. So I select guest contributor and I can select the uh, invite link or uh, invite them with the email. I copy this link to clipboard and now I can give this link to anyone. And uh, what he sees in the browser when he opens this link is uh, this site. So someone invited you as a guest to their project uh, Shopaholic and I can accept the invitation now when I log in uh, yeah I can download the app if I don't have the app and when I download the app uh, on Mac OS I just log into the app with this new account and now as you can see I have my personal project but I also have this um, invite project so I can select uh, command free or I can select this avatar and uh, I can go to Shopaholic uh, project as a uh, contributor so I can edit this project, I can create new branches, I can create uh, new merges into master, and uh, I can basically edit the files that are inside this Shopaholic project. And when you go back to the top, you can uh, go to your personal projects again, and what's important is that you don't need to upgrade to pro version if you contribute to someone else's project. So those organizations or people has to be pro, but you don't have to if you are invited to the project, okay? So uh, what else you have here? On the far right side, you have uh, important notifications. So it's like on Slack, uh, you can see all the notifications from, from uh, all the projects you have. You can also request some feedback straight from the abstract team if you think something uh, in the abstract application needs to be clarified. You can uh, go to your account settings as well. And when you go to your account settings, you can actually switch between your um, accounts. So you can switch between this private account and all the company accounts you are invited to. So I switch to my personal projects and I have this activities stream connected to uh, our e-commerce project but I can go back and forth and switch to uh, this company projects and uh, if I'm a manager I can also manage people here so I can manage the invites and I can also manage the permissions so we have uh, people here and um, all the details permissions projects and also uh, we have this integration tab. so when you go to the integration tab, you can see that I can connect my slack account uh, to this team account on uh, abstract so you simply uh, go to connect button in abstract and you can now authorize the abstract with uh, proper teams just make sure you select the right team and select authorize with slack and now you can uh, select the slack channel uh, that will display a new commits and comments from abstract just directly on slack you can also go to the apps on your slack and select abstract uh, bot 
to add it to your account okay so yeah basically that's it you can get the notifications from abstract directly into your slack into your team's slack account yeah that's pretty cool huh so one more thing i'd like to show you uh, you must be wondering what will happen if you accidentally delete the file from your drive and do you have to keep the files on your hard drive so let's delete the file from the project and let's go back to the abstract app to our shopaholic project and to master branch then you go edit in sketch and open untracked let's see if we can mess things a little bit and apparently we can't because it still opens and we can work on this project because it sits on the abstract cloud and all the files that are uh, in your repositories they go straight to space they go straight to cloud and so that you can work on them anytime and they don't necessarily have to be on your hard drive just remember when you are working offline uh, to go online before deleting the files obviously they need uh, to be uploaded but afterwards it just sits in the cloud so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching and i hope you give abstract a try it's really game-changing for designers